buttons. I hit one button and it didn't work. And now I hit the right button. It's amazing. I was about what ready to hit the buttons. It's like being in the elevator with little kids. We're fighting over who's going to hit the button. Because we didn't go live. We are live, aren't we? We are live. Live. According to my buttons, we are live. Yes. I pressed a button and the button didn't work. So I had to press it again, you know, press that elevator button a couple times to make sure it takes effect. And I didn't even get a turn. Dang it. Next, next, week, next week, I'm going to take my turn. Just saying. Oh, wow. It must be when we are here. We are live. That must mean it's Wednesday morning. But last Wednesday, we weren't live. But we were still here. <laughs> but we were still here. We are here today and we are live and we are so happy to be here this morning. <clears throat> Well, welcome to Conversations with Sherry and Terry Ann. I am Terry Ann Porter, Life Coach TA. It is time to defeat those lies of negative self talk by changing your perspective, exploring the new possibilities, seeing the new pathways opening onto which you can choose to proceed in truth. And with me, the always effervescent, bubbly, and ready to take life on, Sherry Berger. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. I'm so happy to be here. And yeah, we are live this morning. I am Sherry Berger and I am the owner of Here to There Consulting. And we educate business owners with those tools to balance life, business and finances to help you create the life and business that you deserve or you want. Because it's so important when you're going on the road to leadership, success and growth. So welcome, welcome. And I'm so excited this morning because we are going to talk about one of my favorite, favorite things. Oh, wait, we've been talking about in January a lot. Goal setting. I love goal setting. And today we're going to talk about that. Prioritizing your goals. Now, what are some ways that we could prioritize our goals, Terri Ann? Well, I've got an email that I, and I love the way it worded it. So I'm just going to tell you, here's how you do it. If it takes space in my brain, a place on my calendar, and my precious time, then it must be a true priority, and that is mission critical to my goals and my very life. I love that, man. We should probably post that. That's awesome. I think I will post that. Yeah, and I'll I find that. out who said it. So that's I'll exactly give when something <laughs> becomes a high, high priority, right? So I know you had a really, really high priority because just recently you were on the best you 2020 to 2022. <laughs> I know I'm having problems with this one, but you're on that best you 2022. But I got to see you. I got to watch yours and I got to watch a couple other people, but I missed some. We can still watch them, right? You can watch all of the replays and I will post in the comments the link to it. Not only can you watch all the replays, but you can watch our own Terry Ann Porter. Will you please pay, post that replay? And that one's going to come straight out of her uh, YouTube. So she has it on YouTube. And we have an, I haven't asked this morning. Terry Ann needs 12 more subscribers on her YouTube channel. So if we could get 12 of you to subscribe to Terry Ann's YouTube channel, that would be phenomenal. And of course, I always want more subscribers too, right? <laughs> That's right. I have a goal of getting 50 That's more, right. but she has a goal of getting 12. So if you subscribe to both of our YouTube channels, but Terry Ann, right now you can see her replay for 2022 Best You. And by the way, today we're talking about goal setting. I bet that could be a great goal to listen to some of those replays while you're walking, you're exercising, you're cleaning your house. What a positive, great environment to be in. And it's a Christian group, isn't it, Terri Ann? Um, yes. It's yes. a bunch of Christian co coaches. And guess what? I just recently started signing up for it, too, to get involved with these coaches. So I'm really, really excited. So, oh, and Mar Marinella, that's my sister-in-law. She's my sister, really. Ha, ha, ha. That's my sister-in-law. She said she will subscribe today. So make sure you put that there so that people can subscribe, Terri Ann. So, okay, yeah, so today we're going to talk about priorities. And you know what, guys? Last week I was on vacation and that was a huge priority. But then when I got back from vacation, you all know with Gonzelle Intensity, I've been working on my book. 
A lot of people have missed me. Maybe they haven't. I've missed a lot of networking. I've missed a lot of holiday parties. I've missed, I a, missed, lot you. Of, I've missed a lot of stuff. Because other than working, I've been gazelle intense on getting my book done. Because sometimes that's what we have to do when we do a priority, right? So it's a high top priority. So when I got back from vacation, my daughter had edited my book. Oh, wait, she tore it apart. Let's just be real. And so I decided on Monday I should hit the ground and figure out what's going on for the week. But I said, what if I take one more vacation day? And so I worked from six to five o'clock at night. 6 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock at night, re-putting together this book that my daughter had tore apart. No, that she had edited for me, which it was such a great accomplishment, but it was a lot of work. But that was a huge priority, right? So getting that off my to-do list, and then Tuesday, knowing I met with clients and needed to get back into the work field. But I know you too, Terry, and you had a huge priority this last year, or just recently. What was your big priority? The big priority for me was getting ready for that that best you presentation. Worst part of it was, as I was just starting to put it together, I got bronchitis. And let me tell you, that stopped me in my tracks for a few weeks. So when I was finally able to focus and sit at the desk again, everything got put aside. Reed, you'll have to make your own dinners for a while. <laughs> I'm not doing the laundry today. All I could do was sit there and do nothing but focus on that presentation. And that became, it was, it was in my brain. It was on my calendar. How did all those things go? It was, it took all my time because it was that important to me to make a good presentation. And boy, oh, and did the, you, if you have not seen Terry Ann's presentation, you need to go back. I think you're writing a book from that too, aren't you, Terry Ann? I am. I am taking that. Uh, part one of the things that we did was all the speakers gave away something free. So I did give away an ebook, which included a lot of what I spoke about. And now I am editing that and expanding on it a little bit more. And then that will, I'm going to then go ahead and make that a, a book available. But currently too, you have two other books that you've written. I do. Yeah, I, I think do. you need to put links to your books as well. Hey, I want to talk to our audience and see what some of your guys' priorities are this morning. I, see well, I can see for a Facebook user, morning. it's to get, get over a uh, vacation of with COVID. I know. Isn't that oh, sad? I tell you, I know several people with it. That, 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 oh, gosh, that is awful. So I do yeah, hope I you get, we're they, praying you get better. I was supposed to go see my grandbaby this Friday and his family has... They're getting over COVID, but I don't want to take the risk of going down there and catching it. No, thanks. Or up there or wherever it is. But anyway, yeah. So I have to wait a couple more weeks to see my grandbaby. Aw. But I don't want to get COVID. So yeah, COVID vacation doesn't sound like much of a vacation. That doesn't sound like a good vacation at all. <laughs> and uh, Marinella said her priority is to get a good, well-deserved pedicure. Self-care is so important. And sometimes Definitely. going and getting a pedicure and taking care of yourself or a massage is such a huge priority. And uh, yeah, we have people out here saying um, good morning and welcome. So there you go. In the so Michelle has a new job or is looking for a no, new job? No, her priority is to get a new job. To get the new job. Oh, All yeah. right. But she has a lot of opportunities, right? And she's staying with a good mindset because that matters, right? Your opportunity Definitely. in your mindset. So when you're looking for your priority, your mindset in that priority is going to make a big deal. So if your priority is to get ready for a big presentation like you did, Terry Ann, and you're sick and you're going, I'm sick and I can't do this or going, I'm going to rest. I'm going to drink some tea. Yeah, don't drink coffee when you're sick, even though it's better. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to drink some tea and then I'm going to focus and then I'm going to outsource things like dinner to my husband, like you talked about. That's a better way to versus, oh my gosh, I'm sick. I just am not going to be successful. I'm not, right? Mm -hmm. The way you look at it. And see, Michelle says that she has so many uh, job opportunities. She, I think she's just trying to pray to get the right one that God wants her. Wonderful. To, so to oh, that's great. So, that's great. And a lot of it's about your attitude and your mindset in that. Uh -huh. So what are some other priorities out here? Get well, getting well is a big, big, huge priority, especially if you got COVID. So yeah, that's not fun. Um, 
self-care. Who else do you see out here? Oh, Grace has a live speaking event in February. Wonderful. Oh, would you share that? We would Give love us some information share, about that. Would you share that in the comments so that people could be there and yeah, listen to your speaking engagement. That would be awesome. I wonder what that is about. You should share more. Now she has us intrigued. Now, now we're about. intrigued. What is all this about? <laughs> yes. And, you know, I think you mentioned, uh, you know, mindset, prioritizing your goal and the right mindset. Mm -hmm. If my goal is to... I don't know. We, we talk a lot about losing weight. Okay. We ha I have to go beyond just talking about it. That's first thing I need to know. But how about the mindset? I can talk all I want. I can say, oh, yes, it's a priority. Yes, I'm doing this. But if I, my mindset is, but it's never going to work. Is anything I do going to, to be effective? So mindset is is top of the list on achieving your goals. You have to decide that that's what you want to do. But I can't lose weight because I want want my because my husband wants me to. Can't lose weight because my mom wants me to. Right? I have to do it because I want to do it, and it's a priority to me. Even that, and it's not that my husband's not a priority, my mom's not a priority, but it literally needs to be a priority too. Right. Somebody thinks mm -hmm. I should write a book, so I'm going to write a book. That's not how it works. It has to be your priority. And right. Michelle just said exactly that's right, Sherry. Praying. And then is another priority is to be a light for everyone showing love and kindness. Oh, my gosh. That's so important. Those vibes that you show up, you uh, put out in the world, love, kindness, you know, peace, joyfulness. Mm -hmm. oh, let's listen to something this morning. I thought it was funny because I listen to a bunch of positive stuff in the morning and I do my Bible study and my meditation and I do my prayers before I start a day. So I don't just come, I don't just wake up, you know, always in a good mood, most generally, but not always, right? This individual was talking about a lot of things that I like to talk about, but he was talking about don't turn on the news in the morning. Those are Debbie Downers. Go mm -hmm. listen to something positive. Of course, do your Bible study, your meditation. Um, listen to some positive. Come listen to Sherry and Terry Ann, man. It's a positive <laughs> fun environment. Otherwise, we'll other, than, up. other than make sure you have your coffee, not your tea. Come on. <laughs> Don't have it in front of me right now. It's on February 9th in the evening, but can get you the information right now from my phone. Oh, that's fine. Can you Send just it post to us. it yeah. later in the comments, Grace? Because we would love to let our audience and us support you. And we would love to know more about it. So, yeah, let us know more when you can do that. Terry Ann and I sometimes find that out that we can't post stuff right away. I think, Terry Ann, did you already post your presentation? Um, yes. Because if you yes. go to Terry Ann's presentation, Marilyn, I'm, I'm in Mar Marinella, Marina Marinella. If you go to her presentation, then you can subscribe to her YouTube channel or whoever else would like to do that. But I do. Yeah. In the called? comments, in the comments, you will also find uh, YouTube links for both of us. So we have tell, let me see. Terry Ann right now has one, two, three, four, five, six days to get 12 likes or subscribers. So this is her challenge. <laughs> she doesn't even know she's getting it. She just got it right now. But we have six days to get her 12 subscribe you know subscribers also if you would share that uh because it's absolutely free the best you 2022 so if you would share that presentation around social media for terry ann i know we would both really really appreciate that because that would be another way she could get subscribers not to mention how much are you helping your friends on facebook if they could all go listen to these great positive mindset coaches on how to have the best you 2022. So yeah, that's another good way to do it. I watched a uh, Rachel Ray show. It's very relaxing. Oh yeah. Those people that like to cook like Marinella. Yeah. <laughs> I like <laughs> I to watch people. Terry Ann, it's intimidating <laughs> to me. I look at it and go, oh. <laughs> I like to watch people cook, but I did, I did tell you, I'll tell you what, one of my goals this year is to kind of live a little bit more relaxed, get away from the computer and, and to learn some of that self-care kind of stuff. Cause I can become very focused and very, I get 
get on one track and that's it. It's hard to get me off of it. I need to remember to stop and to prepare meals. So one of the things we've done to help me with this goal, I now order from, I think it's, it's dinnerly.com. It's kind of, you've heard of fresh, fresh mm -hmm. start or whatever. Anyway, it's, it's along those lines. There's a whole bunch of companies like that. But anyway, I now order three meals a week from them. And I got to tell you what, I am starting to enjoy preparing dinner. It makes it so easy. I don't have to fight with the grocery store. I get everything that I need. I am using utensils in my kitchen I've never used before. I learned. it. I've now been in. Okay. I've left and I've been on my own since I was 18. So it's been um, a whole bunch of years. A whole bunch of years. I just learned where the broiler is on my in my oven. And it is not where I thought it was. I've learned how to use it. And I'm enjoying right now uh, making dinner. We're looking forward to, oh, which meal am I going to make tonight? And using some of the different utensils that I've always had in the kitchen, never knew how to use. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a goal. Hey, I, I, I learned the first time I learned what a lemon zester is. And I oh, wow. zested my first lemon not long ago. So oh, wow. I just, That's it's funny. been, it's been a goal of, okay, I, we need to do something. We got to quit this grabbing something to eat. We need to eat better. And one way is to cook better. And so I've started doing that. It's become a goal and it's been fun. So got to have fun. We love using emails. And email oh. tells you what to go buy at the grocery store, but it also gives mm -hmm. you the recipe. And when my kids were younger, I used emails a lot. And most generally, our family would like every recipe. And then, of course, we put them in a binder in case we wanted to go back and find that recipe. But what I liked, like you said, is it was simple because sometimes what are, am I going to cook for dinner? Well, mm -hmm. you are telling me what's for dinner. So then you get five meals or whatever anyway. And I liked emails. And so you can go to Walmart. You can go wherever. And it tells you where to go, you know, like what's the ch cheapest deal to it keeps you in a budget as well. I wore order from Sam's Club and Walmart, no contract at all. I love buying groceries, but it's not safe. Oh, okay. But she's a cook. Marilyn could give you recipes. <laughs> Marinella is a professional cook and she bakes. Okay. Can I let you know? She's Italian. Need I say any more? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you well, want well, to cater her, at your house soon. If you want to cater her, <laughs> call Marinella. She lives in Concordia, Kansas. Call her. She did catering for a while. So I've been trying to get her to come up and cater some of my events. She's amazing. But anyway, um, back to so see that yeah. shows though. Yeah, that's that's a goal. So that was a very simple it sound it almost sounds silly to say, well, okay, one but thing we'll do. Do you see what you have right here too? Sometimes one of my friends eats healthy all the time. Okay, mm -hmm. but you just eat like every three, four hours. She literally sets it on her calendar. It goes off. She makes it a priority to go eat. You know, how you work all day and you say, oh, I just didn't even. I mean, I'm an empty nester. I work at home and I'm married to Mr. Workaholic. Oh, no, wait, Mr. UPS guy that has not been here through this whole pandemic. By the way, I'm I really haven't had a husband through the pandemic because nobody knows how much those UPS drivers and people are working. But my point is, so eating, I sometimes remember by setting a timer. So that's mm -hmm. what one of my friends, like I said, she'll go drink a, it doesn't even matter, a protein shake, already have a salad or go make a salad to eat. Make that a priority to eat. So, yeah. You no, know, It seems <laughs> silly that we have to do that, but, you know, to remind ourselves to eat. Oh, come on. Food? Why do I have to remind myself? But we do. We have to remind ourselves to take the time to stop and to eat. Not grab something and take it to our desk. See, and the thing is, my husband was working a Saturday just before we went on vacation, probably Saturday before that. It was right after New Year's. And I was so in gazelle intense that I forgot to eat lunch and I forgot to eat. And I just, I barely ate breakfast. I was so into trying to get my priority of getting my book done mm -hmm. that I forgot to eat anything. Sometimes when you're in those gazelle intense moments, you know what you can do? You can put a bar in your desk. I know you're saying don't eat at your desk, 
or nuts or healthy, you know, snacks right. because you know you're not going to really leave from the project. But if you already pre-plan the project, like clear your desk, make sure you have plenty of water. I know you would think I said coffee, but you need lots of water. <laughs> and make sure you get up and do bathroom breaks. But if you really think you don't have time to eat, make some, you know, a little bowl of healthy snacks or something right here. So just to actually know that going to the restroom, drinking and eating and breathing are priorities, no matter what you're doing. Did you know that? Sometimes we forget those four. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been up giving a presentation and somebody's like, you need to stop and you need to breathe. <laughs> Right. Fruits, nuts, cheese, crackers, keep them in. And But th yeah. there too is it's, that's a momentary thing on that one project. Don't make it a lifestyle. No, do not make it a lifestyle, but you can do that. Well, I know sure. a couple of times through this pandemic, I've been in gazelle intense training where they tell us to make sure we have snacks at the desk because we're mm -hmm. only going to get potty breaks. You know what I mean? We're my kids don't like it when I call them potty breaks. I know I sound like a mom. <laughs> but anyway, that's all we're going to get. And so they don't, they even say, but don't worry, we'll give you a lunch break later, but make sure, you know, you have snacks because we got a lot and we don't want you to miss it and blah, blah, blah. So, but I don't know about you, but my butt falls asleep if I sit too long too. So I think you should run up and down your stairs. And what do you say? You probably should go to the kitchen and sit down and actually eat a meal. Yeah. And sometimes, and this was very hard for me to learn is because I'm so intense on my goal is to get this done. And something that Reed has pushed me over the years and I'm finally, finally learning. You have to get away from it sometimes in order to be able to continue it. Because sometimes stepping away, having that meal, <clears throat> excuse me, taking that break. Then I can come back to the desk and, and that thing that I sat there and frustrated over for 30 minutes and I could not find the answer to stepping away and come back. There's the answer right in front of me. Why didn't I see it? Because I was so focused there. I wasn't taking care of something else that needed to be taken care of. So Gerald taught me that early, you know, my second dad that I like to talk about all the time. <clears throat> I was a system analyst for Sprint and Gerald taught me he was very laid back. Right. And he was one of the main, he was system analyst for IBM, main people. He taught me, he's like, Sherry, if the whole system goes down and you can't figure out what's going on, then just go for a walk across the street and go get a cup of coffee. He would say, go get a cup of coffee. See, he's the reason. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but anyway, or go for a walk. And I'd be like, but the whole system's down. But I learned in Sprint, believe me, that people at Sprint would freak out if you did this, but it was a good idea. Just go. And I was like, well, we have coffee right here. The point was just to get away, get outside, mm -hmm. walk around, let your brain clear. And then sure enough, like you said, you would come right back and then it would be like, oh, it's one, two, three. That's all we got to do. But you couldn't figure out one, two, three because you're too overwhelmed, right? So it is mm -hmm. a great idea, even when you think you're in a crisis like that, to just step away doesn't mean to go disappear for two hours, even though you feel right. Like it. it means right. go take like a 10 minute, 15 minute break and then come back because you'll mm -hmm. figure it out. So, and what did Grace say? If you um, let's, oh, let's go ahead and put, uh, let's see, I'll make it easy for you. If you graze with healthy snacks and water all day, it's better than three meals a day when you skip one or two when you are busy, as long as you stop to breathe. I, I do end up skipping meals often and that's been a hard thing to learn not to do. Do you know one thing I figured out a little in our discussion today? No matter what the goal is, we have to remember our self-care or we can't achieve that goal no matter what it is. That's true. So our self-care has to be a priority and included in our goal planning. You mean that Jesus said to rest on the seventh day? Or just you know, to rest were, in general. Just to rest. Just you know, there were many, general. There were know, many times. Computers that, can't even keep going. Did you know that? Computers cannot keep them going. And if you just drive, drive, drive your car, even a car, I know it's not a, a horse and buggy anymore. It'll get overheated. So when we forget not to do self-care and breathe. Uh, yeah, self-care is the new health care. That's true. And I even like the little rhyme, but it's true. Right? I like that. <laughs> 
<laughs> self-care is the new health care. That's so true. Mm -hmm. And if we don't take care of ourselves and put our air mask on, then we can't help others with theirs and we can't complete. And if it takes you a little longer, but do you remember the tortoise and the hare? Who won? Go read the book, The Tortoise and the Hare. You'll find out the tortoise stopped and rested, but he kept going, but he would stop to take small breaks. And he actually finished the line. So, you know, just to remember those type things. I want to thank, I see a bunch of people out here, Terry Ann, have subscribed to both of our YouTube channels. So I oh, want to thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all so much. Yeah. And a lot of them are going, I'm very blessed that I'm scribed to both ears and they're saying really nice things. So I just really want to thank everybody. And if you're not subscribed to both of our channels, we would love it if you come and subscribe. And some people are saying, yeah, I find out about your guys' events by doing that. They're saying that they get to go watch the replays of this. And they also are getting to know both of us, you know, at a different, deeper level because there's good information out with Terry Ann. There's good information with us. And also the crickets and the ants, Ant good books. What does that mean? Um, the ants, the cricket was would complain. The cricket kind of took his time. Went oh, isn't that how it goes? How the ants worked, and they worked together, and they took their breaks. If I remember right, the story. Gosh, it's been a long time since I read about the cricket and the ant. But that's now I got to go look it up, Marinella. But now you're making us have to go look that up. But that's the same thing with the tortoise and the hare, right? It's yes, all about along the same line self care. So, yeah. So take care of yourself. Make that a priority because that's putting your air mask on. Mm -hmm. Breathing, eating, drinking plenty of water. Oh, and getting your rest. And it's okay if you have certain seasons where maybe you're, what did Grace say, grazing with healthy snacks and water. But don't make that. Don't make that a lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. And it's sort of hard for me. I know it's hard for me at times because I get really in roast in a project and being an empty nester and eating by myself and things that I'm not used to doing. Sometimes I can catch myself doing those things, forgetting to walk away and eat. I think it was last night. It was seven o'clock at night and I go, Oh, I forgot to eat. My husband's like, you forgot to eat. I did, but he was coming home about that time. And I guess seven's not real bad, except for that. I usually eat at five or five 30. I don't like to eat after seven. So Anyway, you guys all go make it a great day. Figure out what your priorities are. Come back next week because we will be talking about. Oh, I knew you were going to ask me that. Hey, our theme for February is change your perspective. See new possibilities. Ooh, isn't that fun? Yeah. So here's next week's topic of discussion. How has the pandemic affected you? I bet it's affected people a lot. We're coming so, yeah, up on so almost two about years. That. We'll be talking How has about it affected that next you? How many years is this? We're, We're coming up on two, uh, coming up close to two years on this now. Yeah, two. Oh, yeah. So uh, how's it affected you? Yeah, that's a couple of people on here were saying they have COVID. So it might affect yeah. them. <laughs> people are still, yeah, people are still getting it. So Well, and I didn't get to go see my grandbaby, but <laughs> COVID, COVID, COVID. Oh, my goodness. So, all right, guys, you guys all go make it a great day, and we will see you next Wednesday, same time. Bring your same favorite time. Cup of coffee. Or tea. Come on. Or Tea's just your favorite drink. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.